Hello pandas and scrap enthusiasts. I'm not sure if this footage is actually going to be the start of a video or if uh, we're just going to cram this with the other one and, and make it into one video, one big epic uh, many pickups situation. So this is an intro or this is a hello and welcome back to the middle of a video. I don't know which one yet. So uh, we have a, a bunch of scrap that we need to go and pick up. A bunch of scrap we need to go and pick up. Uh, so we're going to start off with one. Um, an old friend. Okay, he's not that old. He's a legend. He's got a bunch of stuff. It's probably good because it usually is when we go over there. Let's see what we get. Alrighty, that is some pretty cool stuff. And as I mentioned before, I'm not sure how I'm going to arrange this footage, but we'll go through all of that more closely when we do the processing. Will that be for this video? Will that be its own video? I'm not sure. Um, but there's some... <laughs> okay. But this right here is probably the part I'm most excited about. This is a really fancy, um, f like, pump with motor. Um, and because it's so fancy, uh, and uh, my buddy figures it can probably be re probably be repaired because they're designed to be repaired. Uh, he included the, the original um, manual and parts microfiche. So this one, this one we're not scrapping for copper and aluminum. At least I hope we're not. But we'll get to that. And a pretty fancy looking um, two-part heating ultrasonic cleaner bath thing. Ah, now I still haven't cleaned up the mess in here um, from the last project because I sort of rushed that one out and uh, ran away uh, up a mountain to strap a board on my feet and fall down a bunch of times. Ah. Oh. 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 Ah. Ah. It was incredible. I had a great time. My legs are very sore. <laughs> so now, um, step two of our day. I gotta tell you, this thing is great. Can't wait to put a, a nice axle on the other one. And, uh, find something cool to do with this one. But for now, this is what we got. I would highly recommend it. Any sort of uh, this is better than none. Shall we? Oh, no doubt some of you have ascertained that the uh, use of the trailer means this could be a very large pickup. And uh, I'm hoping it is. I, I mean, maybe we could have gotten it all into the truck. I'm not sure. But uh, some friends are moving out, which means, geez, my, my eyes bead, which means there is a fair amount of treasures that need to be removed. And you know who's good at collecting treasure? Alrighty, the lads are just uh, taking some of the, the good stock over to uh, the new location, but this is, they're all moving out of here. Um, and it's uh, the final day. I left it a little late because uh, I was out gallivanting. And I will share a... Um, so Brandon's going to be making a video of all the footage that we grabbed of the snowboarding. So I will definitely um, mention that when it's out on an upcoming video. And I'd appreciate you checking it out because he does pretty good work. I like his videos. But right now... <laughs> woo! So, yeah, it's a good heap. It's a good looking heap. Um, it's kind of a question of do we like put the effort into sorting it now or um yeah i think we will a uh, little bit of effort um quite a bit of stuff here let's see we got uh random bits of uh, mostly steel but there's some brass and some aluminum and some good looking pieces of uh of tin um a whole bag full of brand new um low voltage transformers we'll find something to do with that 
And a really nice solid table. I don't think I can bear to scrap that. We're probably going to keep that around and let it rest in the yard for a bit. Apparently if that's all ours to load up and haul away, then we better just get started. I have a bit of a plan. So basically I figure we'll just throw all of the um, definitely just getting scrapped steel into the trailer. And then all of this stuff that I want to try a little harder or, you know, process or save, we'll put in the, uh, in the truck. So this one's going in the truck. Honestly, that rusty table would make a great Christmas present for my mom. This piece of aluminum angle. Quality ducting. Actually, wire. Ooh -hoo -hoo. We'll probably go through it all back at the house. But here and now, let's just get the job done. Pretty. Yeah. Um, and then there's also this uh, remnants of the fire pit that's heavy as heck. There's a lot of stuff just below there. It's not just the cheap property taxes. So. All right. Well, you wouldn't know it by the way I keep freaking doing it, but uh, I do not like rolling into the scrapyard right at the end of the day. Um, but we're going to do it again. <laughs> Trailer's loaded right up, pretty much max capacity, so I'd rather unload it right now, today. Um, so I think if we rush, we can make it there just in time. And uh, yeah, we can go through the rest of the stuff later. Right now, steel run, let's go. All right, we gotta be so fast. It's a pretty nice looking pile. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> there's only 10 minutes left uh, before they close. And I'm not trying to be a dink. <clears throat> so we're only gonna unload the tin shred. <clears throat> and the rest of it we're gonna bring back another time. As long as we're not the last people out, I won't feel too bad. Amazing. Yeah. Uh. 
That's the last piece. That is it. I'm done. Thank you. All right. A couple days later, and we're back home, back at the shop. Uh, and it has been snowing. So all of this stuff is covered in snow, and it got um, a little crusty on top. So did I mention this in the footage? I don't know. These are stands, steps, uh, stairs for going up a tree. Put that part against a tree, and then a ratchet strap around that, around this, the trunk, and you can just keep going up. I feel like these are pretty useful. I've got probably 15 of them or something. So I'm gonna uh, take a picture of one of those and list them. But that means I'm gonna have to store them somewhere. Um, the trailer's full of snow and it's about like one degree, which means all of the snow has become some really spectacular snowball snow. Which is great for some things, but not the easiest to remove. So I'm gonna try the snow blower. If it works, it works. place to put these. All right, most of those for sale. We'll see, I don't really mind bringing them in as uh, scrap steel. They seem really useful, so I still think that'd be a shame. And the rest of this, I'm just gonna uh, use it for storing the um, prepared steel, right? What about this? Got distracted, had a phone call from Wub. He needed to tell me a stupid joke. Um, which is probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. I like that that, I like that. That makes me feel pretty cool. Anyway, um, okay, these are not stainless. Stainless. Stainless, nice little aluminium tube. Now, we've got some cool stuff in here and I honestly can't remember if uh, we've already uh, pointed out all the cool stuff or not. So um, I'll just delete the explanation parts from either that or this one. So I'm not repeating myself, but this crowbar, nice little bar um, with broken teeth. I wasn't sure if I was gonna save it or not, but I think I've decided not to along with some other rather cool chunks of prepared. These are neat. Uh, they're saw horses, you know, workbench thing. This one is a brand new CV axle for a Honda CRV, something. That one we're not scrapping. Doesn't matter, we've got two batteries. This is the door from that giant uh, furnace situation. It's not brass. Looks like brass, it's not. Piece of stainless, and a piece of rebar. I'm just gonna lay down the side of the house and forget about it. Oh, this was fun. Um, the friend, he, this was a fun mystery and I couldn't figure it out. So let me know if you can figure out what exactly this is. I guarantee you've all seen them before, but what is it? Stainless steel. Let me know your guesses and I will reveal it later. Here we have a bunch of fireplace tools. I will compare these to the ones I already have and pick my favorites. And these are aluminum things. Steel, aluminum. And this thing here. So I thought these were just pieces of like air ducting that were all aluminum and I was quite happy to just like uh, jump on one and, and uh, call it trash. 
uh, but they're really, really shiny, and unfortunately, I realized I kind of want them because I have a basement window in this place that does not get nearly enough light, and I would love to experiment with these and see if I can use them to direct a little bit more light into the little, you know, egress window there. Um, and I'd already stomped on one, but in hindsight, I would probably... I'd rather have four to experiment with than three, but that ship has sailed. Taste makes waste, of course. Oh, um, a little bit of propane. Another fancy pump motor. This is the wire, a curtain rod thingy. And this one will be a mix of small pieces of prepared and some tin shred. Now, as usual, we're gonna wanna make some progress. We're gonna wanna feel like we're making progress. So I wanna do whatever is the biggest impact. So these boxes are not as interesting as they appear. Perhaps more interesting, depending on your interest. Um, they are just packed full of individually packaged rings. We've seen these rings before. I just didn't realize they got uh, so carefully bundled. But it looks like a lot of them are, looks like they're all facing upright, so. Okay, a lot of these manila ones have a closure, so. So next, we got all this junk. Trash will blow up. Good to know. I'm just curious if this has anything worth. Oh yeah, we got a little brass nozzle. We'll take that. Is that part? No, this part's not brass. That part. Neither is that. What? A little bit of brass. Bunch of steel. Moving on to this thing. Cute. Stainless. Okay, cool. So the all of the metal in here is in fact stainless. Well, I do want to get this wrap off because otherwise they're not going to give us full value. Oh, that is annoying. Satisfying peel videos. Yeah, this is not that. It's got to be one of the most unsatisfying peels I've ever experienced. Hold on. Definitely better. Looking great. Then let's do this one. These are always a little annoying, but they're not too bad.
this one. I decided I liked the uh, I liked the stuff on the other one better. Huh. Well, that's convenient. It's all steel. <laughs> Saves me some time. Which lands us squarely on this one. Which, honestly, doesn't look that bad. They said it could probably be um, repaired. Alright, so I looked it up, and this is the uh, Yellow Jacket Super Evac um, vacuum pump. It's uh, for HVAC, I guess it pulls a vacuum. Apparently the seals are just gone, so it really just needs um, new seals, because apparently they go all the time. And I looked it up, and uh, one of these, it's a pretty spendy little unit. Um, if I did the, uh, if I redid the seals and got it in uh, proper shape, uh, and then sold it, it would pay my rent. Uh, so, we're probably just gonna put this aside and look into that later. <clears throat> Scrap value is the lowest possible value for anything. Now, uh, we had a project before. Oh, I wanna see if this was successful. There's the handle. Go. Ah. Yeah, I would say that feels like we got the job done. I was even going to get that hot. But it looks like that worked amazing. Not too freaking bad. This would be number one if it wasn't so uh, ugly and torched. What a perfect little container for that. Nice job. Not saying this should be the standard way to do that. It wasn't efficient, it was kind of gross. Um, but, uh, I like it. Next, I want to dig through these. It's a nice little strip of copper. It's going to be processing some wires, it looks like. That's the wires. Grab whatever steel we can. We got a little pile of steel. Pile of brass. Cruising right along, we have these things over here. And we're gonna start with this one. First thing I'm gonna do is separate all of the steel. pieces that are clearly brass. And then I guess I just separate which pieces are need testing. Right? And now we just do the testing, I suppose. These are all dirty aluminum. This is just going in as a motor. This one, I'm going to try and get that off. There we are. Nice lumpy piece of brass and a motor. Put the magnetic on our stainless pile. Stainless. 
shameless. Plain flavor. And another one of these. Pretty much just these, which are for silver recovery. And then these things, which are... Well, to be honest, they're mostly just annoying. But they do contain brass. Have you seen these before? Those are going in silver recovery. That's going in gold recovery. Aluminum, stainless. Aluminium. Nice thick looking cable though. Brass. I like these. Little bitty transformer. All right, let's finish up. Yeah. This one right here. Got a whole bunch of full heads down here. There's that. But regardless. And a chunk of wood. Which we can break down for firewood later. The rest of it's all steel. Okay. That was more work than I expected. Ooh, it's got a nice big bronze bushing now. Oh, this isn't, huh, this isn't aluminum, this is um, zinc aluminum alloy, which basically just means I don't feel bad anymore and I'm going to toss this whole thing into steel. All right, now this I'm probably just going to put in the motor bin, that, that's kind of a deal with it later bin. Uh, I've got one more bin down here. hey -ya! Right. And it's kind of a fun one. So these little space heaters, I guess we could get in there and... Yeah, they've got such a teeny tiny motor. Teeny tiny little garbage motor. Trust me, these are not... These are not it. Well, I'm not gonna do them. You can do whatever you want. Fluorescent work light. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't want it though. Yeah, so while I'm doing this, the weather's actually pretty nice. So uh, look, like the temperature is good. So I've got a bunch of uh, lead on the stove, um, working through that. And just a lot of the lead is like sitting and waiting for a big old pot to get to temperature. So uh, this is perfect. We're, we're making the most of the time we've got. <sighs> Trying to anyway. So, this here, an interesting piece. My roommate got an old school TV um, that he's turning into, honestly, I don't think even he knows just yet. Um, it's real old and a lot of these little, little wafer, little button capacitors, I don't know what those are for, um, but this is not gonna have a lot of copper. I don't see anything I'm excited about pulling off. So we're just gonna say nope on this. And that. Leaves us with that. These are all the innards and the bits and pieces from that self seeing TV. A lot of this stuff just seems like paper. That's the big old tuner Clicker, there's no click. No, oh, the click's broken. And copper wire. From back when they used real copper. I'm just kidding. Ooh. Copper straps for something. 
decent transformers. Oh, with like a lot of paper and glue. Okay. And I don't know what this is. There's copper in there. More paper than copper, to be honest. This must be the degaussing cable. Or something. That's got me confused. It's like there is no degaussing cable. We'll figure that out. This thing will do this right now. This should be easy mode. Cool. That's way better than smashing it. Because that made pulling it apart easy. Cute. All right, I'm a little scared to say it out loud. But I think we're all caught up. Uh, these little, these transformers here, um, these are 24 volt step down transformers or something. They're for furnaces. I'm gonna try and sell them the way they are uh, before we just scrap them. But uh, yeah, feeling pretty good. Feeling good about today's progress. Time for the best part. I've been waiting for the best part. You know the best part. What are we looking at? Aluminum, stainless, copper, brass. It's a nice looking heap. Let's go get rid of it. I was gonna tell you a penis joke, but it's too long. That's the joke he called to tell me. Quality. And the answer to the mystery quiz from before, those uh, stainless steel uh, funny shaped tubes, those are the protective barricade pieces that go around the uh, large chest freezer displays in grocery stores. They sit on the corners so you don't smash your carts into them. Yeah. I'm sure some of you got that, but uh, yeah, that's what they were. All right, pretty decent haul, and normally this is where I would show shots of the receipt, but I don't have one because I, things kind of got a little muddled in trying to set up uh, a business account at the scrapyard. So we made like 700 bucks, and a big chunk of that was actually just that uh, container of copper wire, uh, copper windings and such. So it's obvious why copper is so exciting, but the amount of hours that went into that, uh, the other big performer, were all those bars of... Um, extruded aluminum, uh, which took a lot less time preparing than the copper. So, uh, yeah, no receipt this time, but thanks for thanks for hanging out and keeping me company and uh, putting up with all these different uh, projects, different directions, different attempts. I don't know what to say. I'm just glad you're here. And I'm also glad this is here. I thought this was aluminum when we were picking it up from my friend's place, but it's actually a really nice, thick, brass bowl. Um, I'm not going to scrap this. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'm not going to scrap it. And I look forward to seeing you next time. So like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Leave it better than you found it. Keep doing the thing.